friends, and welcome to the weekend. It's Saturday, February 19th. <clears throat> We're going to get a daily message from the tarot cards today. Um, I want to put out a quick reminder that daily messages will be no longer as of next Wednesday. I'm going to be traveling a bit, so um, I just don't know how I'll be able to keep up with it. I encourage you to go back and watch any video um, who, which title stands out to you regardless of the day because messages always come when they strike us and not necessarily when they are given. So please treat those videos as timeless videos if you're just coming up on the channel, um, you know, for the first time or, or something like that. Um, there will be some new content that's not daily messages, hopefully before I go. Um, what else? Yeah, um, there's recommended listening for every daily message as well. So if you want to get deeper into the vibe of the reading, go check out that music because music is life. Okay, let's get the message for today. Infinite abundance again. You saw me shuffle. You saw me pull this one from the bottom. Infinite abundance has been showing up a lot. Reaching your destination, another card that has shown up. This always happens. This is a deck that I just recently uh, purchased. And the way you learn your decks is very slowly. It's almost like the same cards show up, like the same five or so in the flow. And I'm, I swear to God, all of these cards have shown up already in like the last three readings that I've done or like whenever I pulled this deck out. Is it repeating itself or is it, you know, wanting to reassure, be reassuring or something? So we have infinite abundance, reaching your destination and in the flow. Abundance is pouring into your life. Your light is shining brightly and everything is smooth sailing. That is a bit of reassurance, I feel. Like whatever you're doing um, is... That's maybe, I don't know, how did you utilize this full moon in Leo? Because the full moon in Leo is supposed to be about our expression. And so if you found something recently where like, oh, yeah, finally I can, you're transmuting our inner like feelings or thoughts. We're able to like, <laughs> reaching your destination, you're able to like put them out there in a way um, that where you feel like you are able to um express yourself like in a successful way that's one of the like uh, pillars of happiness right is our perceived ability of expression i mean is happiness abundance is it you know like is there an overlap there in any case something is working so there's a validation of something working here we'll see from the tarot what that is possibly. Four of cups in reverse underneath. Yeah, so coming out of, I'm um, sorry, the feeling is turning to that which was previously uh, being ignored is now being looked at here like coming around to some feeling. Otherwise, in the upright, right, that's sort of like an ap apathy card, like I'm not available for this. So now we're making ourselves available. We're opening up. Then we have the lovers, the queen of cups. Yeah, five of swords. Okay, we'll get to that. Nine of swords, the hierophant, the world, the page of swords, Five of Wands, Eight of Cups. I feel like there's some strong sword energy in here. Uh, there's two fives. Actually, there's three fives because Hierophant is a five card. Fives portend change. Five, five, five. Angel number, you can look it up. It's, it's the number of um, changes coming. Lovers is a choice, right? At all times we have a choice. Lovers is also like the um, coming together of seemingly opposite or dualities, right? Um, 
to form the third thing, which is the one, okay? That's what the lovers is about. So, like, lovers is like, yeah, when two people, like, you know, <laughs> how do I say? In heteronormative and, you know, whatever, modern capitalistic tendencies. Two people love each other, they get married, they form one family or they form one child. But this could also be within one's self of nurturing or like welcoming two sides of yourself, shadow and light. There's a swan and a phoenix on here, which is pretty cool, pretty cool. Hmm. So I feel like that's exactly what's happening, right? With the, we have the lovers, the nine of swords and the page of swords. Notice how the 10 of swords is sort of skipped over, but we do get to the other side as in, I feel like that, that it's just showing me um, what pattern or cycle has been, has come into balance. So what's reassuring is that whatever nervousness um, or anxiety has now been at least received in such a way, a message, that now we can work with this energy. That's the infinite abundance. Or at least now we're opening ourselves to abundance by saying, here's this thing that I have and now I have, to, what do I do with this? I keep telling you guys, it's like information, right? Our fear is information, our anxiety is information of like, oh, you shouldn't, you know, don't do this, or like, you have to address this, something needs your attention. And so the Page of Swords, right, the, um, they are a bit of a messenger. Any page is like a message coming in, it's coming in fast. And, it, and the swords of, of all the elements is the intellect, right, and the nervous system. So that's why I feel like there's something here about either nervousness, I want to say like overwhelm or simply just sort of like this, this processing. I'm like breathing very deeply and like exhaling and sort of like it's purging. And so then in the present moment, we have reaching your destination. So there is some sort of success here and that's the, mm, that's the validation I think that, that the spread is really um, delivering is there's success in now being able to open oneself up with this information the Queen of Cups, she's deeply in tune with her emotions. And not only that, she is really um, actively uh, nurturing that what she feels as well as, um, you know, prob probably the most, the, the, the most deeply compassionate sort of figure here of all the Queens as well. And highly intuitive. So. I love actually how these cards sort of feel like they're from, almost from the same world or something. The Queen of Cups and reaching your destination. Very watery. Then we have the Hierophant and the Five of Wands. Five of Wands is a conflict card. And I also see here that the, the five, it's quickly followed by the Five of Swords in the future position. If you remember yesterday's reading, it's like trailblazing, but there will be trials. Then this one is is a validation of keep going because the Hierophant is also possibly the figure of a teacher or somebody coming in to, uh, um, to help or to teach, or maybe you're teaching, s teaching somebody or yourself, you know, through this process of, I'll say, enlightenment I mean if I can say that um, and you know Hierophant is in the cent as being in the center it's really important to get the message of this card it's a Taurus Hierophant is Taurus Taurus is about that which we value most it's almost like we need to embody our values um, now 
more, you know, it's saying now more than ever. Five of Wands then as the conflict card afterwards is sort of saying like, yeah, there will be people who disagree with you, but your job is to sort of like plant yourself in your truth um, so that the change that will eventually come and occur and needs to occur can happen. Conflict is not um, always a bad thing. Conflict is a good thing. It means that everyone is expressing themselves authentically. Now, things will then be moving, right? Change is happening because there's expression, right? There's um, truthfulness. Um, and that leads to the end of something. Um, but it, I think in, in the best way possible. I think that what will happen is you're going to realize that this thing, whatever this situation or situation ship is, this is the five of swords here, which is, you know, it's sort of like the image of a battle. Um, and it's, it's another conflict card. Five is very uncomfortable, but at the same time in this card, you know, you are at least, um, I don't want to say you've won, but to, but I guess for lack of a better word, you've won something. You've won access to the truth and the truth sets you free. And I feel like that's why it's saying everything is smooth sailing. Not everyone is going to feel the same sense of freedom when you free yourself. Ain't that the truth? Ain't that the truth? And we have then the world and the eight of cups. The world is the final card of the tarot. And it's basically, yeah, if 555 is the indicator that things are changing and that something will change, the world is saying that it'll change in such a way that we won't ever go back. Something is surely changing for real. Maybe it feels like the end of an era, you know? And the next thing that's coming up, or at least while in this transition, what's being asked of us is the Eight of Cups. Removing yourself from what could have, you know, there might be some disappointment, I guess, or something like that, um, emotion, like an emotional disappointment or transformation. Maybe your feelings about something are shifting or changing or simply just aren't being received in the way that you thought they would be. And so you need to leave this situation behind. Because the, the Five of Swords from earlier, it's, all, it's also like you need to leave when nobody wins. Like this energy of war or conflict is not uh, helpful to everybody or anybody. But the change needs to happen. This is, this is a really strong change spread. 555 five, five are powerful, like angel numbers are so powerful as like omens or signs or something. So if you notice those, you know, this something is speaking essentially. And I feel like this change is finally happening because somebody's decided to open themselves up to the possibility that this needs to happen. Something needs to in order to open yourself to this infinite abundance, I finally need to get to the point where there's an open forum for me to say my piece. Look at these two people here as well. I mean, if we see, look at the, the lovers and Hierophant, they actually follow one, one to the other. Hierophant is number five, the lovers is number six. We're in a lover's year, if you reduce uh, this year, right, to 2020. Two. Gosh, what year is it? It reduces down to six. It's the lovers. In the higher front, the position of higher front Taurus is it's in the north node. North node Taurus. Those are all, all both things you can look up and like discover many layers of meaning. But north node Taurus essentially is, yeah, we need to live and embody our values. That's what's being called right now. And lovers 
finally something coming into union, something, you know, coming into balance that has previously been a source of nervousness or anxiety. This, this, these swords, the swords here are sort of like this, this anxious sort of energy. Swords are the nervous system and the intellect and Yeah. <clears throat> How about a just a final message from the universe? The sun the Eight of Swords, and the Devil, all in reverse. Awesome. Awesome. I mean, it's essentially saying that <clears throat> in order to, literally, we have the Eight of Swords and the Devil. These are both sort of like cards of liberation. In order to free ourselves, and we have, we have the Sun here, which is the card of like positivity, radiance, right? The Sun is like our joy. We do have to look at the things that are not fulfilling us. Like what is causing us to lose this? We have to confront that. We have to look at it in order to free ourselves and move on to the next stage, right? Whatever this next stage is that the world, world here is indicating um, that's also indicated by the 555. And now we have also, you know, this is sort of what I would say is the final message. Um, if there is, you know, any kind of depression or like um, just icky feelings, like that is your sign to go inwards, to leave whatever, remove yourself from whatever situation is causing you to feel this way and to really explore why you, why it is that you feel this way. Okay, because the change I feel like is already happening and we're in the middle of it. And this is your chance to really explore what those feelings are trying to communicate. And then freedom. So this is what you want. That's my advice. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys on the next one.